Greetings ladies and gentlemen and those who've been watching my videos Welcome back to the gameplay of Eliza We just finished talking with Nora uh, She had other things to attend to And uh, she actually also gave us the access to uh, It's been a week since I last recorded and kind of forgot what the content was But the most important is We beat the medium difficulty of uh, Cabafuda Solite. This one right here was something else, of course. And um, yeah, we're not gonna have too much chit chat here since I've checked uh, all the prompts uh, at this cafe here. So let's get on to the next session. What a day! Been a while since I've done that much in a single day. At least now I can relax. Oh, Ray. Hey, Evelyn, it's Ray from the office. Just curious, what kind of cookies do you like? Cookies? Yeah. Oh. Uh. Whoa! That's a lot of answers in the coda. I'm not really a cookie person, that's of course the answers. Of that. Um, answer alone. The title like, is kind of obscure. <laughs> hmm. But wow, this is a lot of options actually for a Fizzle novel. Yeah. Hmm. This is an interesting one. Macadamia nut. And white chocolate chip? I have no idea about all this stuff. Chocolate chip, of course. That's the easy one. This is also quite an easy one, but <laughs> no way. You know what? Let's get a little bit complex and choose this one instead. The type I like is kind of obscure. I like a challenge, though. Good one, right? I bake cookies for the team now and then. And I try to mix it up so everyone gets their favorite at least once. Isn't that a lot of cookies? It is, but I enjoy making them. That's good for you. The thing about baking is, once you start, it's pretty easy to just keep going. You have everything out, so you might as well do multiple batches. And the cleanup takes more or less the same amount of time. I don't know much about baking. I see. Just keep it simple. <laughs> it's fun. Oh, that's it. That's interesting. <laughs> oh, that's a weird chat. Interesting one, Ray. Baking, huh? Cooking in general is something I feel like I could try to get better at. At some point. <laughs> oh, Nora. So nice to see you today. Thanks for letting me know about Soren. Oh yeah, Soren. Soren's the uh, person that we're going to meet uh, thanks to Nora's help on giving us access to that one-time ticket thing to his webinar. Good to see you too. Hmm. We should do that more often. Hangout, you mean? I'll have to ask what she means with that. Hang out, you mean? I know I said I don't miss working at a big company, but I do miss our old crew sometimes. Old crew. So, Evelyn, Nora... I wonder who else? Yeah. I write software for myself now. It's so much better. Come to my show though. You're coming, right? Please come, please, please, please. <laughs> Nora. What? It's a bad look to be like that. What? You're funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> hmm.
You're funny. <laughs> I certainly am. Oh, wow, that's a way. That's a way. Like, well, I mean, now Evelyn has an option whether to go to her show or just not gonna do that. Maybe we are not gonna do that now that I've chosen that. We will see. <laughs> it's so hilarious of that conversation, though. Alright. Okay, now I'm really exhausted. Why is even just texting with, pe texting with people such an effort? Yeah, it could be at some point, especially with you, if, if you're dealing with multiple people at one time. Oh man, been there with work. Aha. Uh -huh. I should tidy up the shelves at some point. Some of these books still spark joy, don't they? I hope they do. This is a shirt. She really has to tidy this up. Some of these clothes I've had since college. Huh. Wish I could re reinvent myself like Nora. Reinvent. Not that I would know how. Just I've been sitting here like that for a long time. I mean, I meant to put them up. Not sure what I'm waiting for. That's like four frames. She really should try to adjust that. It's a pretty okay table, I guess. I don't really feel like doing anything. What happened? I used to have so much energy. I'd stay up until 2 or 3 in the morning, writing code. Then I'll be up again at 8, ready to pick up right where I left off. I'm not sure who that person was. Um. Yeah, I remember me in my college time when I used to promise myself on doing more animation project. Oh god, I do wonder where that me goes, right? <laughs> I think this is just gotta be the same, huh? I'm actually rather curious though about the audio whether that's going to get listened to or... Because like, I think I'm going to need to adjust it even more. Yeah, something like this or maybe that. Yeah. 5 decibel? Count me in. Um, no Eliza proxy chats... Solitaire? She still wants to play Solitaire, interestingly, but... Uh, maybe a little bit later. Evelyn should really delete it if she really doesn't feel like it. Like, yeah, I should try to drag it somewhere. It's still 6.37 p.m.? That's crazy. And she's already tired at this hour. Yeah. What a day indeed. I mean, I could try beating that uh, cup of food as solid say like now, but... <laughs> nah. I've, like, stalled my time long enough, I think, for the past few... Uh, was it? Episodes. I'll just get to bed now. Chapter 2! Here we are. Finally progressing. Oh, hello. So this is the one that we're visiting, eh? One Mind 2.0, Ascal in the Wellness Revolution. Hmm, no wonder Nora didn't want to come here. I'm not sure I could take something like this seriously myself. Maybe that's why Soren is successful and I'm not. Am I late? Looks like the talk's already happening. Maybe? Oh, sorry, it's January 8th, interestingly. We started at January 6th. So we're skipping a day. Interesting. Chris Manzoni, bookstore. Went to Magus Books today and Shelly told me you don't work there anymore. Oh! She used to work at a bookstore, Pop. 
made me sad. You were the best part of going to that store for me. I always appreciated your presence there. Best of luck in your new endeavors, wherever they may take you. Who is this dude? Mary Aubrey. I don't know about Aubrey uh, spelling in English. Do like do they pronounce it like Aubrey or Aubrey? Because I somewhat like Aubrey more. Are you still mad at me? Oh, nevertheless, I hope you're doing well. Oh yeah. Is she no Aubrey? So her dad name has a surname. Is she no? I think. Huh. Okay. Redmond Post allows the counseling service to be introduced in Redmond Middle and High Schools. Redmond School District partners with Skanda to detect and address mental health issues in students. Jasmine Hurling. Conversation with the future counselor with screen students for risk factors, identify the need for interventions, and spur positive mood levels. Hmm. I do wonder if Evelyn has told her mom that she currently works at Eliza. I think she knows. Since like she's citing this article for her. Eliza is an AI driven conversational tool to support mental health developed internally at Skanda. While the Seattle based company counseling centers are well known to be employing Human proxies between the AI and the client, the school implementation will take the form of a web based chat interface. Ah, yes! That's the. Uh, I think the simpler fashion of Eliza. Yeah, uh, I forgot the real name is. Uh, there's like the earlier version of it. I mentioned it at episode 1, but I already forgot the name, what the name was. Edwin Park, service director of the Eliza program. So much used to share information about themselves in text based conversations. Hmm. Oof. I feel. I feel this sentence kind of insults me because I really do like texting more compared to talking. Uh, at least that's what keeps me focused, I believe. Because at calls, I do feel like I should, like watch their stuff or something instead of uh, doing my own yeah unless podcast is a thing and by then I'll, I would feel like less compelled to look at their uh, what they're doing or such maybe I would set it into like a pop-up mode so that I can still see their uh, what they're up to in the stream or videos but yeah at calls at, at calls it just feels a bit different Conversation with Eliza take about mm -hmm, 10 to 15 minutes, but not limited to one conversation every two weeks. Okay. Mm -hmm. Eliza's tracking capabilities will be able to provide a full picture of students' mental state. Mm -hmm. The Redmond Post. Goal is to find the kids that are most at risk and take proactive steps to get them the tools and support the, the uh, and support they need to grow into happy and productive members of society. Roland Orwing, Executive Director of Student Services. This is a complex problem with an evolving solution set. The other is just one facet of what is a big issue involving not only kids but their families, our teachers, and the wider community. Something like that, something like that, all the texts, something like that. Club played solitaire if I want to, but nah. <laughs> we need to attend the freaking uh, meeting, man. Oh yeah, is this different? Think back to what brought you here. Quite a... quite a sentence. Alright. Back to here. Alright, we're entering. Uh, this place is packed. I'll just stand at the back. That's Soren. So, to get back to my original point. Interesting. The current state of the art is AI driven counseling. 
typified by apps like Eliza. All right. Okay, so I feel like I should lower it down a bit, maybe to three. Let's talk about the model here for a second. He looks a little haggard. I wonder if he's okay. It all begins with data. You collect all the data you can. NLU. NL is neural language. I don't know about the UPA. I think that's what it means. From base level metrics like heart rates, body temperature, blood pressure, to higher order metrics like hand movement, head movement, gaze aversion. Hmm. If the client lets you, you'll want to pull from their digital life too, their message histories and email, their search histories and online behavior. Ooh. Okay. It's all potentially valuable. Then you compare the client's responses to relevant data from thousands of other clients and build a model of the client's psychological state. Hmm. This approach has worked well so far. Eliza is still the best and most advanced version, but that's just my personal opinion. Your personal opinion because you've worked there for so long, I believe. For those of you who don't know, I was the team lead and chief psychologist for the ELISA project at Skanda for a number of years. That explains. Taking credit for all of it, I see. <laughs> Hello. Yellow alert, I guess? Now, even though this is a proven approach, there are two weaknesses I'm going to highlight. One is the data I was just talking about. You're completely dependent on that. Hmm. Collect as much as you can, sure, but it's important to keep in mind that you can have all the data in the world and still not understand why things work the way they do. Hmm. And that's important for us to know, because if we have something that works, but we're not sure why, then what do we actually understand about ourselves? That goes a bit deep there. The crucial step after data is the model. The data needs to be used to validate a model. If you can't make a model, you're finished. If that sounds like basic, obvious science to you, it is. But I was surprised to find out just how many people from the tech sector don't think this way. I suppose you don't need to understand why something works in order to make it into a product and sell it. Obviously, though, if you had mastery of the underlying details, you'd be able to adjust the process and potentially make it work even better. Hmm. No. The psychological model. Is that what I'm getting at? Is getting impatient. Clearly, they're expecting something big. One further note while I'm discussing modeling many of the startups trying to address mental health right now are completely ignoring the insights provided by the field of traditional psychology. Hmm, I wonder what it is. They do so at their own peril. Many of you know already, but as a brief personal aside, I was a professor of psychology before I joined the tech world. That actually makes him stronger. I'm continually stunned at how little the tech heads know or even care about the hundreds of years of psychological research that has gone on in my field. Hmm. Okay, this I can relate to, I believe. I still don't know what year this is. 
Yeah. I'll have to question that later. That's something I can talk about at length, perhaps another time. For now, I'll move on to the other weakness I mentioned. Because there are just so many psychology aspects that you gotta know, I believe, before you can judge others. That involves, like, yeah, uh, psychological tests and such. And just so many, I already forgot even, I'm sorry. It's not gonna be that deep in here, afraid. This is the real one, the big one. It's treatment. That's a good, powerful one. A system like Eliza can tell what's wrong with a client to a certain level of accuracy, but it doesn't quite know how to turn that into a comprehensive treatment plan. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, I can I can deal with this one for the two from the two what's the word? patients that Evelyn's been dealing about, especially with the treatment one. It can suggest therapeutic programs and activities, and soon it might even issue its own prescriptions without having to go through a doctor or a psychiatrist. True, that's true. Because Kanda has a wellness app system right there. Well, as long as the FDA continues to look upon us favorably. FDA is... Uh, crap, I forgot. But those are blunt instruments, compared to what I'm going to talk about next. Blunt instruments, huh? Maybe this is it. Is he going to go where I think he is? Many of you know there's a technology still in its infancy called direct stimulation. For those of you who haven't heard of it, direct stimulation is a way of creating sensations within the brain with targeted electrical impulses. Mm -mm. Imagine an augmented reality headset, but instead of working on your eyes, it stimulates the brain in such a way as to induce a specific dream. An AR stuff, huh? A spring meadow, for example. This sounds fantastical, I know, but progress on this technique has been occurring faster than you think. We're actually quite close to a workable demonstration model. How is that possible? Well, first of all, we only suggest an overall feeling. Your own brain does most of the work, just as it does in your dreams. Hmm. It fills in all of the visual details using its own set of memories and expectations. Ah, uh, so this is what everyone came to hear. Induced dreams via direct stimulation can contain all the therapeutic content of VR therapy without the need to create realistic graphics or other content. Huh? Instead, it harnesses the brain's creative power to dream up the situation for itself. Combine that with the insights we gain from parametric therapy systems like ELISA, and you have a complete end-to-end, -end, fully automated system. VR stuff, huh? That's actually not a bad idea at all, I think. It should be clear now that this heralds a revolution in how we treat, how we think about, mental health. And with mental health challenges on the rise across the globe, it couldn't come at a more crucial time. I can't imagine. So... That's why today, oh. right here, I'm announcing Aponia, a new company to make induced dreaming a reality and end human suffering as we know it. I should note that I remain on good terms with Skanda. In fact, they're a minority investor in this new venture. Oh, the crowd gets a bit crazy there. But still, I'm very much going my own way on this. Oh my god! It's no secret that Rainer and I don't always agree. And that's why we mutually decided I should pursue this paradigm shift on my own. 
Oh, okay. So I think from what I got, Sorin is uh, going to part ways with Skanda and to create his own company right here that combines Skanda's Eliza and his own appointed, well, AR-like experience to enhance Eliza's experience with more. I think that's what I catch from it. Interesting. As for details on the venture itself, I don't have anything specific to announce at this time other than that the technology is real and working in prototype form already. But you can be sure to hear more from me on that soon. Huh. Thank you. Wow. What a presentation there! As Soren finishes up, people hold up their phones to take photos and video. This feels more like a press conference than a talk. <laughs> Be like talk talk, innit? I thought tech talk does that too, like <laughs> doing the talk, that kind of thing. But yeah, I although yeah, they he da he do he did eventually advertise that. So yeah. That's an interesting point. Now, I can take a very limited number of audience questions. The crowd starts to search start him. He's going to be mobbed. My plan to find him after the talk isn't going to work. I need to get out of here. Uh, I don't know what I was thinking coming to this. Whatever my element is, this is not it. I should just get out of here before anybody recognizes me. Except, as I attempt to do that, I happen to spot another man I know. He emerged from an elevator in the lobby just as I walk by. I keep my head down. Maybe he won't see me. Surely he's busy and distracted. Right? Nope. Well, look who's here. It's like I've seen a ghost. That's Rainier. <laughs> Yao Rain Rainer Sai, Chairman and CEO Skanda Corporation. You gotta be serious. <laughs> oh, no way. How do you spell his name again? Rainer? I think it should be Rainer. Yeah. Good to see you too, Rainer. Rainer. Where are you these days? I lost track after you left us. Oh dear. Nowhere. Nowhere? Well, nowhere is no place to be. <laughs> oh, big gulp there. Come by the new office sometime. You should see where we're taking Eliza. I... Okay. I... Okay. Good. Sarah will set something up for next week. Oh, really? He glances at the person standing behind and to the side of him, presumably Sarah. She nods almost imperceptibly. Ha <laughs> ha. She catched the code. See you then. I agree before I could think about it. What's this all about? What does Rainer want with me? We didn't interact much at all when I worked there. I didn't think he will even remember me. Surprising, right? I've hardly done anything and things feel like a tangled mess already. And here we are. Oh, hello. Oh, I didn't realize that when the phone vibrates, it actually also vibrates too. Uh, officially. I <laughs> didn't know that. A lot of tech companies have become interested in mental health lately. Mental health. It's a fast growing field now. Or maybe it's just a gold rush. Likely that. I, I can't agree. Conferences like this always makes me nervous. I feel like everyone is looking at me. Even though I know they're probably not. 
I need to get out of here. Sorenstalk is being rebroadcasted here. Seems like he really made waves. I'm sure that that was his intent, so good for him. Oh boy! Oh, already a Liza proxy, okay. Reminder contractor parking. To all Seattle area contingent staff, to the limited space, contractors, including Eliza proxies, are not issue Skanda parking passes. Do not attempt to park in Skanda lots without a pass. Your vehicle will be towed. Please find street parking around the area or use one of the many mass transit options available. <laughs> what the hell? That is sad. We are, aware, we are aware parking is an issue and are looking into securing additional parking at our Queen Anne and Bellevue locations, but currently there is no timetable for extra spaces. Hmm. Becomes more crowded, I see. And there's job for Vice President facilities at Skanda. What about my sessions? Oh, that's good. I can see my past proxies. I do wonder. So Jan January 7 is the weekend, I suppose, like the Sunday part, I believe. Maybe? Hmm. Oh wait, I have, I have to read one more. Ah, uh, at park. At park. Fellow proxies, I'll continue to receive questions about how proxies should interpret and work with Eliza's counseling faces. Here's one more time at explaining it. Since there are built around the five part structures, yeah, here it is. Here's the explanation. Introductory phase, build wrap uh, stuff like that. Listen actively, as clients are able to tell. If your provider proxy is uninterested, your performance should be smooth and natural. To the discovery, Eliza transitions to the topic of the client problem and begin to introduce probing questions. Yeah, this is what I mean. Like probing them, like trying to dig in on the problems that they have. Be attentive to client and speak your lines in a clear but gentle manner. That's important. Ooh, scary. As the client answers questions, Eliza detects the client's rationalization and or explanatory strategies. Eliza, Eliza will then challenge the client's assertions with their goal of inducing the clients to re-evaluate their current notions. Many children do new face and do not adopt a confrontational speaking style. Ooh. Ooh. I assume later on in our sessions, I believe, uh, there may be some uh, similar answers, but uh, we have certain choices on how we're going to deliver that certain uh, line in order to make uh, this kind of session to be, yeah. Not to be ended, it's more like, yeah, to be delivered. Uh, it eventually depends on your kind of thing there. Uh, that's at least what the proxies can do to make uh, like to make the session flow according to their... Oh, what was it? To their... I, I, I'm not meant to say style, but I really don't have any other words so far. Uh, in the intervention, Eliza selects one of the multiple interventions from its look at the cognitive exercises, blah blah blah. Yeah, this is this is the one that I'm still feeling like they could have been more improved or something. At a certain conclusion, the client is asked to rate the experience. Um, be cheerful during this phase so clients feel comfortable with the idea of return to Eliza soon. Edwin Park. So that dude is Rainer, and that's Soren. I do wonder about this person right here. Interesting. Yeah. I think I'm interested to replay the solitaire now. Oh boy. I'm kind of not looking forward to this, especially with only two spaces available, eh? So we're gonna have to... Plan my movements head on. 
or you will get stuck. That can be that can be picked up too. It's the same car. Could I've had this to be dragged there and then this to be dragged here and then this to be dragged there and then I don't know what's up next. Because this card here is going to be a bit struggling to be taught on. Uh finding the Oh yeah, finding this one though. Maybe I can eventually put this here first. And then drag it here. And then this one. Uh oh god, good question. Hmm. It is also possible to drag this here and then place this one up here and then hold on. Where was I going with that train of thought again? Because suddenly I had to think of this card too. <laughs> okay. Hold on, hold on. What's this card? This card can be connected there. This card can be connected here. But I had to find the other solution. This is wow. Let's try to get a move on first. If you keep failing, then there is gonna be always another try after all. Hold on. This to be put there, this to be put here or I could drag that and then drag it there and then wait I can drag this one here and this will be put there and that will be put there okay you know what let's go with that for now I uh hold on yeah I want it to be dragged here okay hold on this is an interesting card for sure, but I still don't have any fitting uh, place for that, so I'll have to move it there. As I have all mentioned, I want to drag this here, at least to one of these places. Oh dear, hold on a second. I could also ignore that solution. I still do want to move this up here at least, but you know what we're gonna do that now. I'm gonna explain what I have in my head. So like this could be put here or this one could be put here and then we can drag this one here. Or we can have this one drag here instead. <laughs> the beauty of solitaire, ladies and gentlemen. And those who've been watching my videos, yeah, this is, is crazy. Um, I have so many options, not gonna lie, but I still haven't thought on which one that suits my need the most, especially because this card, I can place it here too. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. And then I do wonder what I can place there for the empty car, am I right? Is it more preferable for you to drag the right car or is it more preferable for you to have more empty space? That's a, that's a really good question. At the center of my head. Hmm. I 
feel it's more preferable if I were to drag this one here instead. And this one, should I do this here or something else? Yeah, I still haven't thought of that. I could drag this one here eventually. But then I don't know what to do with this card here because... Never mind, there's this one here actually, now let's see it. Oh, hello. I suddenly see solutions. This can be dragged there. And this could be dragged here eventually, I think. But I still need the solution with this card here because I couldn't place uh, all three of them uh, yet with that kind of solution if you catch my drift. I have so many solutions in my head right now. Hold on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You know what? Let's do it this way. Interestingly, I could also... Um... Oh, yeah. Uh, this, this card can be dragged too. So that I could put this here. But I gotta have to find my way in to get that one card here and this one card there as well. Oh god. Well, I'll put you there for now. I'll put this one here as well for now. Uh, that way. This is the reason why I want to put it like there, but then... Is that going to solve me anything? It is not, I believe. Wait. This can be placed here if we want to. We're gonna have to make that a good break for now. <laughs> and then... This can be dragged here. I can drag that one eventually here as well, but that's not going to solve me any puzzle, I believe. Oh god. This is the same card as this one, yeah, but this is the card that's the same as this one, this, this, this three that I've placed there. I don't know the other solutions yet though. Hmm. Really interesting. <laughs> Yeah. Oh wait, what the? I could technically try to drag this hill as well, and then try to drag this one up here for no reason. Actually, there is a reason. It's a fa quite a valuable reason too, but... Oh, no, no, never mind. Yeah, I can do that. You know what? Since we do have two spaces available, and once one of the spaces gets uh, occupied with four identical cards, uh, one of the slots going to open again. Um, this is actually a lot more easier than I expected, but still, I don't want to screw this up, so... Yes. Wait, 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 hold on. I still have this card to worry about, though. You know what? I'm actually really scared. Yeah, I, 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 want, to, I want to go somewhere. I want to progress on something. So yeah, this is technically done. And another slot will open. Uh, what was I saying? That was not the plan apparently, huh? Yep, that was not the plan. I need to drag this here, so that I know what I'm doing. That's the one that I can think of for now. <laughs> and then... This can be dragged here. When I drag this here is what I'm in. Interesting. What is that? Why does that not open the other space? Was I... Was I dreaming? On the last session? That's interesting. I could drag it there. This one could be dragged here if I want to. Hmm. 
or I could drag this one and then drag you there and then drag you here and then I'm going to drag one of the other cuts there too Ah, uh, that's going to make the problem a little bit more complex <laughs> all things considered Oh god Especially when I need this card to be dragged somewhere else too, like with this one too. Wait a second. This and then this one. Oh yeah. This card gets separated. Oh no no no, there's this one. <sighs> Crap. This one could be put there if I want to. But I'm not sure how to... Wait a second... Yeah, this one will be solved there... And then I could try to drag that one, for example... But I don't really need it, I guess... Hold on... Yeah... I think I'm gonna get screwed sideways either way... Or... Not really... I could try to drag... This one there... Hmm, hold on. <laughs> I could ace this for eventually by placing either this one here or this one there. So that I can drag this one there eventually and then this one to be here. Oh dear. Got a lot of options. Got a lot of options. I really don't have any goods with this card though. It's way too separated with the other three right here so weird I really don't have any, any other options wait wait yeah I really don't I really don't I have to do it hmm The other cuts right there. I really don't have any other good option for that one. Since this is the other two cuts is in here and <laughs> Yeah. Wait a second. Oh interesting, hold on a second. I can drag this one here as well. This one to be dragged there. And then. Uh. Oh no, I don't have any other solution, I believe. Wait, no, I can drag this one eventually up there later. And then this one to be dragged somewhere here. There, and then this one. Mmm. Yeah, no, I'm gonna get stuck because my card's getting to be blocked when I place this here once. And this is just way over here. <laughs> so, yeah, that's a no too. Mm. Wait a second. Okay, you know what? Let's do it this way first. There. There. Let's keep it that way for a bit. And, um... Interesting. I can drag this one too there if I want to, but no, not yet. I still don't have any matching for this one because, again, it gets way too separated. I uh, my case here at the moment. I can try to drag that one there, and then this one to be dragged there. And then this, and then this one. Oh! I can drag that one there eventually, but then... It's gonna be a game over for me, isn't it? Maybe not necessarily all game over, but... Uh, yeah, again, this guy's gonna be hella separated. Oof. Hmm. 
this is this is the pain of my existence for now. This type of car. <laughs> I have so many plans. <laughs> but I don't think each of these will follow through. <laughs> That's my issue bit. I can at least do this here. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's that's also another plan. I can like try to drag this one here eventually, and then I will have to think where I'm going to put all my cards are uh, at. Because yeah, wow, <laughs> yeah. What a game. <laughs> what a game. I I'm gonna also try to place this here, but that's not gonna be that useful for me for now, so I'm just gonna do it this way. There. Just to ensure me a little bit of space, uh, that's the the uh, the plan. I really gonna put it there, can't I? Yeah, really can't. This one can be put there eventually, so that I can drag this one <laughs> here, and then what? What? What would be good for me? That's the question. I can also try to drag this one here. And then have one of these there, right? <laughs> oh god! This is a good one, I believe. Okay, you know what? We can just retry when we screw up at some point, you know. Yeah, the issue is that's gonna be a cause of problem. Oh! Wait a second. Hmm. That can be dragged here eventually, but then, yeah, that's gonna be a game for me. Isn't it? I'm gonna have to ace one of the cards there eventually. <laughs> Like maybe this one, or something, or maybe this one even. But I I need this one to be placed here eventually, or here. Hmm. No 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 no. Wait. Where was I going with this plan again? Oh god. Wait, no, that works. I still really have to catch on with this kind of a game plan. Oh, okay. Because I dragged the cards here. Is that the reason? And I have those two free now. Freezers can store a single card, but magic cards can also be united free cell. I know that, pa, but I still don't know why it, it gets rather con inconsistent, f at least in my taste. At least in my taste, I have no idea. Hmm. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> I'm totally trying to store one of those cards there, and then what next? This to be here, is it going to like free the space is one I'm in? I'm gonna have to try dragging one of these cards eventually. This one can be dragged here later on, or I can drag this one there. And this one to be dragged there eventually to determine where, which one there I want to place first. And such and such. Yep, I'm dead. I'm so dead. <laughs> oh dear me! Oh. 
Uff. Oh. Okay, so I noticed that... I noticed this one apparently can free up this space there, I think, to my knowledge. I can I can do this one, or maybe do this one instead. Hmm. I can do boats too. Jesus Christ. Okay. That's why, huh? I will be that bit. This can be dragged there, this can be dragged there too. Hoo hoo. So, which should I place you at? Oh, wait a second. This can be a dead game too. If I want to. Like that is what I'm in. Am I already done with this game? Hold on a second. Yeah, I'm already literally done. I can also place it there eventually if I want to. And I still count it as a win, actually. Let's do it that way. Yeah, we're done. What the hell? Wow! I still have no idea of the condition on when my cells is going to be free up. I think it's going to be there when uh, there's this like a symbol that symbolizes that I will get a free cell there basically. Man, this is a long episode. I'm gonna have to cut it up right here. I'm just gonna make a really... Uh, make a cut for it, I guess, and make this one a special side episode for it or something because this is a hot one Maybe I was overthinking it, but yeah All right, let's get it over it. We really should get out of here. So yeah Up to go and such